Hello, today is、uh, Monday, September 4th, 2023. I was a Katusa soldier. I worked with the US Army in Korea for more than two years. And、uh, I, there w a s、uh, uh, one Katusa, oh, wait a minute, two Katusa soldiers assigned to the US Army Corps of Engineers. And I thought they, the、uh, Army Corps of Engineers was the military organization. But somehow I feel like I, it, it is not. So I'm very confused. There were many civilians there, and the Army Corps of Engineers. They also build dams for some village or for some state. So、uh, that, that dam has nothing to do with the army. So I am curious about their identity. So I pulled off this one from the internet. And、uh, I'm going to read this article、uh, to practice English also by reading it aloud. So here I am、uh, United States Army Corps of Engineers. The United States Army Corps of Engineers, USAs, is an engineer formation of the United States Army that has three primary mission areas. Okay, so it belongs to the Army, but it has three primary mission areas engineer regiment, military construction, and civil works. Civil works.、Hmm. The day to day activities of the three mission areas are administered by a lieutenant general known as the commanding general or chief of engineers. The chief of engineers commands the engineer regiment comprising combat engineer, rescue, rescue construction, dive, and other specialty units. And the answers directly to the chief of staff of the army. Combat engineers, sometimes called the sappers, form an integral part of the army's combined arms team and are found in all army service components regular army, national guard, and army reserve. So, regular army, national guard, and army reserve. Their duties are to breach obstacles, construct fighting positions, fix the floating bridges and obstacles and of,、uh, defensive positions, place and detonate explosives,、uh, conduct route clearance operations, in place and detect landmines,、hmm, place and detonate explosives, conduct route clearance. Operations in place, not replace, in place and detect landmines and fight as provisional infantry when required. For the military construction mission, the commanding general is direct,、uh, directed and supervised by the assistant secretary of the Army for installations, environment, and energy. Whom the president appoints and the senate confirms. Military construction refers to or、uh, relates to construction on military bases and,、uh, and worldwide installations. United States Army Corps of Engineers, shoulder sleeve insignia, active 19,、uh, 1775 to present. Country, United States Branch U.S. Army type engineer role. Corps, part of the U.S. Department of the Army, headquarters, Washington, D.C., U.S., model, French, e s a n s let us try, e s a n o n s colors, scarlet and white, anniversary, 16th June, organization day, wars, revolutionary war, and so on, website, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, commander and chief of engineers. Lieutenant General Scott A. Spellman, Deputy Commander Major General William H. Graham Jr., insignia, flag, logo, coat of arms, Engineer Regimental Insignia, at the headquarters of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Norfolk District in Norfolk, Virginia. Wow, that's impressive buildings. Uh, Olmstead Locks and Dam on the Ohio River in 
Olmsted, Illinois was under construction for over 20 years under the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers watch. It opened in 2018. Celebratory proceedings in 2006 for the opening of a new women's center in Iraq, constructed by the Corps of Engineers. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Dredge Tora Cover 3 in New York Harbor. Mississippi River improvements made by the Corps of Engineers in 1890. Proctor Lake in Texas, constructed by the Corps of Engineers to provide flood control, drinking water, and recreation. On 16th June 19, 1775, the Continental Congress gathered in Philadelphia granted authority for the creation of a chief engineer for the Army. Congress authorized a Corps of Engineers for the United States on 11th March 1779. The Corps as it is known today came into being on 16th March 1802 when the President was authorized authorized to organize and establish a corps of engineers that the said corps shall be stationed at West Point in the state of New York and shall constitute a military academy. A corps of uh, topographical engineers authorized on 4th July 1838 merged with the Corps of Engineers in March 1863. Civil works are directed and supervised by the Assistant Secretary of the Army, who is appointed by the President of the United States and confirmed by the US United States Senate. Army uh, civil works include three U.S. Congress authorized business lines, navigation, flood, and storm damage protection and aquatic ecosystem restoration. Civil Works is also tasked with administering, administering the Clean Water Act Section 404 program, including recreation, hydropower, and power supply at USAC flood control reservoirs. And the environmental, uh, environmental infrastructure the civil works staff oversee construction, operation, and maintenance of dams, canals, and flood protection in the U.S., as well as a wide range of public works throughout the world. USA has 37,000 civilian and military personnel, making it one of the world's largest public engineering design and construction management agencies. Some of its dams, reservoirs, and flood control projects also serve as public outdoor recreation facilities. Its hydroelectric pro uh, projects provide 24% of the U.S. hydropower capacity. Wow, that's amazing. The Corps of Engineers it is headquartered in Washington, D.C., and has a budget of $7.8 billion, FY 2021. The core mission is to deliver vital public and military engineering services, um, partnering in peace and war to strengthen our nation's security and energize the economy and reduce risks from disasters in peace and war, right? In peace and war, partnering in peace and war. Its most visible civil works missions include planning, designing, building, and operating locks and dams. Other civil engineering projects include flood control, beach nourishment, and dredging for waterway navigation. 
design and construction of flood protection systems through various federal mandates, design and construction management of military facilities for the Army, Air Force, Army Reserve, and Air Force Reserve, as well as other Department of Defense and federal government agencies. Wow! So they not only uh, cover the U.S. Army, but they also cover uh, the Air Force, Army Reserve, and Air Force Reserve, and any other Department of Defense and federal government agencies. Wow, that's amazing. Environmental uh, regulation and ecosystem restoration. So in peace and war, uh, commissioned, they belong to the army, and they work for any uh, military uh, government agencies to build the facilities for them, garrisons, control, and everything. Nice job, Army Corps of Engineers. If you have a job openings for me, uh, opening for me, but please don't hesitate to contact me because, yeah, I have to retire uh, within five years from now. So uh, I work for Korea Telecom, KT, number one carrier in Korea. I'm very proud of my company, but time is now running out on me so I have to be uh, prepared well prepared right thanks for listening everybody nice job USA's very good organization